Only Fools and Horses returns on New Year's Day, and a brand new series starts the following Sunday. The Nelson Mandela 70th birthday concert continues on BBC Two until 20 past eight. In five minutes, here on BBC One, we'll be joining Cliff Richard and Sally Magnusson, presenting entertainment for the whole family in a special Christmas celebration. First, the news at 6.25 from Moira Stewart. The main story this Christmas Day the search for bodies and wreckage from the Lockerbie air crash continues through the holiday. And relatives of the dead take their grief to the site of the disaster. Good evening. The victims of the Pan Am plane crash have been remembered at church services throughout the country. And relatives of the Americans who died have visited the scene of Wednesday's disaster. Emergency teams were served a Christmas meal before continuing the search for bodies and wreckage. We're sorry about that. We'll come back to that story in a moment. The Archbishop of Canterbury, Dr. Robert Runcie, included a prayer for the people of Lockerbie in his Christmas sermon at Canterbury Cathedral. Just when it seems we are becoming complacent in our comfort, terrible tragedies disturb our selfishness and create a response which is instant, generous and imaginative. Out of the darkness of suffering comes the light of a remarkable affirmation of our common humanity. Pope John Paul, in his Christmas message, appealed for worldwide help to repair the damage caused by the earthquake in Armenia. Speaking to pilgrims in St. Peter's Square, the Pope also called on scientists to increase their efforts to find a cure for AIDS. The cost of yesterday's closure of three North Sea oil platforms could run into many millions of pounds. Production was stopped when a floating storage unit in the Fulmer field broke free from its moorings, narrowly missing the platforms. The tanker is now being towed to Norway for repairs. The owners say they're expected to lose about two million pounds a day. I have absolutely no idea at the moment, and until we know what has happened, it is impossible really to speculate. Um, but we're certainly talking weeks rather than days, and, and possibly months rather than weeks. The Queen, who yesterday made a special addition to her Christmas message, remembering the victims of the Lockerbie disaster, is spending Christmas at Sandringham. It's the royal family's first Christmas in Norfolk for 25 years, and a large crowd gathered to greet them at the local parish church this morning. The victims of the Pan Am plane crash have been remembered at church services throughout the country and relatives uh, who have visited the scene of Wednesday's disaster. Emergency teams were served a Christmas meal before continuing the search for bodies and wreckage. And that's it for now. The main news tonight is at 10 past nine. Hello to you. Well, I hope you're enjoying Christmas Day, one in which has turned out to be one of the mildest that we've known for quite a long time. And certainly a very mild night tonight, temperatures no lower than 7 or 8 degrees Celsius, the mid-40s Fahrenheit. A lot of cloud around, as you would suspect, some uh, rain up in that far north coming across Scotland into Northern Ireland as we go through into tonight, and quite misty, as you can see, on the western side in particular. Starting up like this tomorrow, some brightness in the far north, but a lot of cloud from some quite heavy rain over Scotland. That'll be coming southwards uh, through the day. And I think by the uh, end of the afternoon, that will have got down into the North Midlands, across Wales, down towards the southwest. In fact, in northern parts of England, down into Wales, it could turn out to be quite a wet day, I think, certainly the second half of the day, any rate. Now, as that rain comes southwards, so clearer weather's going to tuck in behind it. It'll take a time. Before